And we're back on the fucking raft. Oh god. Let's catch a fish. A good one. Yeah. Not enough water. We had that fucking hurricane. Oh no. Wrong button. You're doing badly, Necro. I would have been in the game by now. I thought I already did this. Ah, there we go. Happily, Kara ate some fish. Will found that he was starting to develop feelings for Kara. Yeah, probably because right now she's the only woman in the world as you know it. Other than that, she's irritating. Drifting, day 12. Well, they haven't resorted to cannibalism yet, so there is that. The stars are beautiful. Yeah, all 20 of them. Look at that. If I were taller, I could reach them. No, no, you couldn't. Surely Lily and Lance are looking at the same star-studded sky. No, they probably got better things to do. If I could talk to the stars, I could find out where everyone is. Uh, stars don't talk. There seems to be one extra star near the constellation of Cygnus. Yes, that red star. Shall we make a wish upon that star? I have a feeling it'll come true. Hmm. Ominous red star that appeared out of nowhere? Sure, go ahead, make a wish. No, what's, the, what's the worst that could happen? Nothing could possibly go wrong. Will, you close your eyes too. And this is where she shanks him. And then eats his carcass. I hope for everyone's safety and for my father. And some butt sex, apparently. Day 18, under the dome. I mean, on the river. No, oh, stop doing that. <clears throat> We've been adrift for almost three weeks now. Wow, you can do math. Hasn't your hair gotten a little long? Just a little. <laughs> yeah, that tends to happen. Kara doesn't act like a spoiled princess now. Did you just say that to her? Like, are you narrating all of a sudden? What the fuck's going on? If you told someone she was one of the island girls, no doubt, no one would doubt it. Island girls? What are you talking about? First of all, she's got a top on. It's terrible. What's terrible? What are you talking about? What is that? They're in the water. I don't know, more water? Oh, it's a shark. And another shark. Maybe a shark? Well, congratulations, Einstein. You figured it out. We could be eaten. What should we do? I don't know. Stay on the raft? There's not really anything you can do, right? Just sit. I, I can't remember what to do here. Let's see. They're circling our raft, but they're not attacking. Let's think about this. Yeah. Yeah, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna push her. Fuck you. That's the hard. That's the hard thing about this. Wait. Wait, maybe the other melody actually. Oh wait, no. Damn it. Something about his grandpa. They're not hungry. Something like that. Then what we're doing is not. Then what we're doing is not usual human behavior. We didn't eat fish until we were starving. That's right. They're going. Goodbye, sharks. Goodbye, Kara. God, she's retarded. Ugh. Drifting, day 21. Yeah, this just keeps going. When I was in the castle, I loved watching the sunset. Now I'm fucking sick of it. <laughs> the sunset was so beautiful from the corridor of the castle, but now I've come to hate it. See, I told you. After the sun has set, the darkness comes. Yeah, that's what's called a natural chain of events. I thought I'd never see the sun rise again. Well, no, because that also is a natural chain of events. But since you're with me, I see a beautiful sunrise every morning. Yeah, I'll take credit for that. With you by my side, I can even enjoy, enjoy times like these. I've wanted to say the same things to you, but somehow the words just wouldn't come out. Probably because I'm better than that. I just nodded, saying nothing. So now he's narrating? Why not? Oh, and then he collapses. Suddenly, Will fell over, unconscious. You know, somehow I figured that out from the, uh, fact that I saw it happen. Will, Will, what's wrong? Oh, I'm starving to death? Probably, uh, dying of thirst because you can't drink seawater? Wake up, don't leave me here alone. Finally. We put him on the bed sideways because, uh, we're kind of dumb. <laughs> but you can wake him up now. He'll be fine if he takes vitamin C. Oh, she was a terrible singer. 
It's scurvy, a disease caused by a long-term lack of vitamin C. Hmm. How come she doesn't have it? Columbus's crew contracted it once. Nothing to worry about. When it gets worse, the blood gets bad, and the skin turns black. Yeah, that's not quite what happens. The gums bleed and the body starts decaying. Yeah, the gum bleeding is really the only part of that that's true. Stop, I don't want to listen to such talk. <laughs> I'm glad you're okay. But you know best, thank you. You should, you should thank the dog outside. He found your raft and came to get me. Oh yeah, I'm going to go outside and thank a dog. I'm going to do that too. Will, Will, wake up. We put you on the bed sideways because we're stupid. We've reached land, we're saved. Actually, there's a houseboat. <laughs> that would've been funny. Uh, why am I standing on the bed? Kara, where am I? We're at the home of the kind man who saved us, and his dog, apparently. You've been tossing in your sleep. Tossing what? I kept putting the blankets on you, but you threw them off. Oh, that's just because the, the developers were too lazy to draw him under the covers. This is the south outskirts of Oakton. The city of Frisia is half a day to the north. If you're looking for your friend, you should be looking a big town. Well, I don't know, is Frisia big? Yep. You should thank the dog. Yeah, yeah, the dog. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I'm going to thank the dog. At any rate, let's go to Frisia. I'm going to thank the dog. Come back when you're ready. She's literally going to thank the dog. <laughs> Thanks, dog. Woof, woof. This dog's name is Turbo. Isn't he cute? Who names their dog Turbo? I'm, I'm, I mean, you know, that's just a reference to Soul Blazer, though. Well, let's go. Maybe we'll see Lily, Lance, and Eric. So they went to Frisia. You're on the Diamond Coast. I'm heading off to Frisia. Watch out for the giant E! Okay, here we are. Oh, it's nice. What a great city. People who live in such pretty places must have beautiful hearts. Man, you're naive. They could be total assholes here. Like this guy. Look at him. What a cute couple. Have you decided where you're staying tonight? No, not yet. We're looking for someone. Well, well, why not base your search here? Who talks like that? It's settled. I'm exhausted. Don't you like it, Will? Let's go. What just happened? Alright, so let's just walk around, I guess. The Frisia is the city flower. Smells good, doesn't it? Yeah. What? Well, well, no, look. No. <laughs> What's up, bitch? Listen to me carefully. You'd better not go on the back streets. Just as a rose has thorns, a pretty town has another side. What is it, crack dealers? I can deal with it. After all that time on the raft, I could use some crack. I'm the jeweler, Gem. I control the seven seas. So you're a jeweler and your name is Gem. What are the odds? I'm holding three of the red jewels for you now. You've collected more than three jewels. According to this list, you get the herb. You receive the herb. You're a herb. All right. Do I have any? Okay, so that's it. Yeah, I'm gonna jump off the roof because I'm stupid. I was startled. Someone dropped from the ceiling. Yeah, that was me. Thanks for showing me that impressive dive. I will give you something. Slap. Kids, if you do something that's dangerous again, you'll be in big trouble. I don't do what the people upstairs are doing. Looks like they're making out. <laughs> I'll give you something. She fucking whomps you upside the head. Why not? Let's go in here. Nope, you can't. Okay. Go in here. Oh, yeah, I can go in that one. It's not like a tornado came through here. Maybe it'd be more comfortable in a place not quite so neat. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go out of here now. You're a fucking weirdo. Alright. Bitch just ups and slaps you, man. Mother was always worrying about things. I was afraid you'd been kidnapped by someone or had been wounded. My mother suffered like that. What? I don't know you. You're not my mom. What the hell are you talking about? Weird. I 
Thanks, you bitch. A life lived honestly. A life of fun and laughter. Sure, looks like you're having a great time. Alright, I'm trying to go in there and bitch closes the door on me. Hey, what's up, creepy hooded guys? Where'd he go? The laborer escaped. Have you seen him? Yes? Tell me where he is and I'll give you this red jewel. Ha <laughs> fuck you. Hey, don't play on jokes on an adult. Oh, I know you're an adult. I'm a weirdo. You could be a midget. You could be like three midgets. <laughs> that didn't make any sense. I apologize. That was a stupid joke. No one can put a show like I can. Have a look. Yeah, yeah, most people are smarter than that. Go in here. Labor camp. Slaves. I don't believe in the spirits. If there were spirits, things like status wouldn't matter. Wow, that's so censored. When he says the spirits, I think he means God. I've tried not to think. The more I think, the more empty I become. Uh, okay. How about you, green midget? Soon we will be sent away. Well, this place sucks, so being sent away, how bad could it be, right? Oh, der. You, I got behind you, asshole. This kid, where did you come from? Go home, go home. Oh, dead, dead. Alright, hold on, no, I gotta... I mean, don't shove me. Asshole, I'm gonna come over here and talk to this guy. Soon a great power will come from above, then mankind will die out. I don't know who made the prediction, but it's all a lie. I do this to forget. That was just a bunch of random words and phrases, wasn't it? When I think of myself in your position, I shudder. I have no time to worry about what people think. It's hard enough just taking care of myself. So basically, it's a slave market. These laborers are the same age as you. Remember, there are people everywhere who live this way. Yeah, because you enslave them, dip. Hey, boy, kids can't come in here and go home. Go home. Or did you come to get a laborer? Yeah, sure, I did. I like your courage. I don't know what you'd like. What, I don't know what you'd do here, but have a look around. I am Emus. I was brought here on a boat from far off Asia. We're a hunting tribe. When we're hungry, we hunt for food. All the animals here are fallen victim to an unknown disease. Okay. I am Remus. <laughs> I bet you are. Our game disappeared, and we had nothing to eat. We had no choice but to become laborers. Why can't they just say slaves, because that's what they are? We didn't know where we would be taken, or what would happen. And why we all look exactly the same and have green hair. I am Sam. Yeah, I saw that movie. It wasn't that good. We were rescued last night by a man named Eric who was working at the hotel, but we were caught by the labor traders. He's being held in a house in the corner of Back Street in town. Please save him. Uh, so at least we have some sort of objective here. That's probably the house that slammed shut. Yay! What's up, bro? A man working at the hotel was caught by a labor trader. Yeah, I know. There's really nothing we can do about being found. He's a laborer who ran away yesterday. I should tell the labor traders. I was prepared for the worst when I did it. What's up, dude? I can see you. You're not invisible. Please, don't tell. I don't care about myself. I just don't want to get him in trouble. Okay. Should probably go and... To the end now. Oh, wrong way. It's up here. This is the hotel. Let's go in. That's what she said, literally. Well, come in. Look who it is. It's a crazy girl. Come in. Will and Kara? Lily? Is it Lily? No, who else looks like that? Come on. I was worried. It's been almost a month since we separated. I've been working and living in this hotel. Lance is in the room on the right. Go in there. Yeah, he'll show you his Lance all right. Yeah, I might as well go over there. What's up, Lance? They say I don't know who I am. Kind of strange. If I don't know who I am, how did I get here? Good question. Lance hit his head, escaping from the Incan ship. The doctor said he has temporary amnesia. There's really no such thing as temporary amnesia, but okay. 
Meanwhile, I think Lance should stay here until he recovers. He has an intracranial injury. I'm glad everyone is safe, but... But? Also, I haven't seen Eric since last night. See, he's not safe. I wonder what's happened. I don't know. He's getting some fucking pussy. All right, we're going to stop here. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Uh, it's been 15 minutes. See you in the next one.